Hello out there to you. Let's make a quick example of this problem. We need to find the profit maximizing monopoly output when they choose a single price. Okay, so anytime you see profit maximization, know that that is the quantity where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. Okay, it's going to be your microeconomics tattoo. Uh, and if they don't price discriminate, it means they're going to charge everybody the same price. They're going to pick one price, sometimes called a single price tariff. Okay, uh, so I've already got marginal costs. I need to know how to find marginal revenue. So if you don't know, it's the change in total revenue divided by the change in quantity. Now in this particular problem, if you look here on this column for quantity, well, then that's going to just change by one. So in this case, it'll just be the change in total revenue divided by one, which is just the change in total revenue in this problem. But if you run into one where, say, they're changing by 10, then you'll just divide by 10. Okay, it's not the case here, but if you have one, that, that's how to do it. Uh, total revenue is going to be price times quantity. Okay, so that's these two columns right here. Okay, and this really, this right here is just the demand schedule. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually put marginal revenue right here in this column. And I'm going to put total revenue over here. That way I can just compare marginal revenue and marginal cost. Okay, so I don't ever have marginal revenue and marginal cost at zero units because it's showing the change from one unit to another. And no such thing as a negative one widget. Okay, so total revenue is price times quantity. So if I Price it at 120, I'll sell no units. Price it at 110, I'll sell one. This is 200, I'll just go through this. 270, 320, 350, and 360. So total revenue is always increasing there. So marginal revenue is always going to be positive. Okay, now the uh, change in total revenue, so let's write those in blue. Um, so that's 110, okay, then that's 90, that's 70, that's 50, that's 30, and that's 10. Okay, so now I've got marginal revenue, so uh, I'm going to go through and if I'm going to make a profit on that first unit, uh, it cost me $20 in marginal terms, and I uh, sell it for $110. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. The next one, okay, so I like that one. The next one cost us $30. We sell it for $90. I like that. Next one cost us $40. I sell it for $70. I like that. The next one cost us $50. I sell it for $50. I'm still making a profit on that unit. But this one... It costs us 60, we sell it for 30. It's actually going to decrease total profit by uh, $30. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to put an X there. I don't want to do that. So the answer to the quantity on this one, quantity I'm going to sell is 4. So this is the profit maximization case, but I'm going to go to 4. So quantity is 4. Could be written as QPM. Okay. Now, uh, I'm not going to charge $50 because I'm not in a competitive environment. I'm going to charge whatever the demand will bear, and that is uh, profit maximizing. Uh, price is 80 Okay. If you had to figure out what the total revenue is, just multiply. Well, we already have that. It's 320 And then if you had to figure out the total cost, uh, given a little bit more cost, you could figure out what their total profit is. But the answer to this one, quantity 4. Pro, uh, profit maximizing price of 80.